No. WFXR Sports. Ah, uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell, hoping your day is wonderful and blessed. In a special edition of the Hardy's Friday Night Blitz, we crown state champions in the world of VHSL football. First off, we head to Lynchburg and Williams Stadium for the Class 4 Finals. The Salem Spartans taking on the Phoebus Phantoms. Salem going for their 11th state title, while Phoebus going for number 10. Don Holter and the Spartans seeking their first championship since spring of 2021. But the Phantoms already up 7-0. Mark Havius Banks pass is tipped and Haterade interception. Chris Cole with the interception takes it deep in the territory. Right for the half. How about Peyton Lewis? Head to the pay window, young fella. You got one with the touchdown. The Spartans would miss missed extra point, so it'd be 7-6 to six in favor of Phoebus. Fast forward to the fourth, same score. Phoebus on the doorstep. Paul Stephen Davis takes the rock into the zone for the touchdown, and the Phantoms extend the lead to 14-6. to six. Under two minutes to go, Salem decided to take it to the air, and Eli Taylor heaving it up for Chris Cole, who had the interception and the catch there. He wins the one-on-one -on -one battle. Salem in the red zone there. Moments later, you're going to see Javion Jones takes it into the house. With the two-point conversion, we're tied at 14 with 58 seconds to go. We thought we might be going to overtime, but Phoebus had other plans on the day. Look at this play. Banks going to air to Keontae Gray. He breaks into the clear. Gone. 86 yards for the shore to clinch Phoebus' third consecutive state title. Heartbreak for the Spartans as Phoebus gets the win over Salem 21-14. to I take full responsibility for that. You know, so you got to coach every moment of the game. Obviously, they hit us down the seam on a deep pass. Should have played that a whole lot better and put our kids in a position to be successful. I mean, they're, they're a three-time state champ for a reason. And their they're guys up front are, are big and fast and talented, and they're coached well. And that's how you end up in a game like this. And, you know, give Phoebus some credit. I'm pretty, like, heartbroken about this, really, um, because just, like, all the hard work you put in, I was just with a freshman until now, you know, I became up short. You know, like throughout my four years here, in my head, you know, great memories. I won't miss my guys. Meanwhile, staying in Lynchburg for the Class 3 final, Liberty Christian Bulldogs going for their first VHSL title, taking on the Lafayette Rams. And in the first quarter, about Gideon Davidson. He will not be denied. He got it in for the touchdown. LCA scores first, go up 7 to nothing. The Bulldogs at their own 10-yard line on their next possession. And guess who? It's Gideon Davidson. He is running for glory, looking for moonlight. We can't call it daylight since we're at night. So we're going to call it moonlight. Take it to the house, young fella. Got it in there, 14 to nothing. Speaking of moon, next up, how about Jeb Moon? He's going to hand it off to guess who? It's Gideon Davis's world. We're just living in it. He's going to get one for one more for the hand there. How about three touchdowns right there? 21 nothing to LCA. Fourth quarter down, the Rams are now down 21 to 7, and James Spencer is going to take it into the house. The Rams cut LCA's lead now down to 21 14, but guess what? It was just too much of LCA. Moon's going to hand off to Adam Dio, who found Dalton Nesselrock with a score. LCA goes up 28 to 14, and that was the clincher there. The Bulldogs win their first VHSL football title, taking it 28 to 14. Ryan Moy has won a game from Lynchburg. Well, in tonight's VHSL Class 3 State Championship showdown between LCA and Lafayette, it was all about the offensive effort led by the one and only Gideon Davidson, who was able to not only find the end zone, he and the Bulldogs were also able to get it done on the defensive side of the ball to come away with the win. I, I believe from 20 years ago that, you know, this kind of thing could happen. Um, you know, we've been very successful, you know, over all the years. But, you know, this is kind of a, you know, the next step for us. Amazing. I mean, I don't, I don't, it's hard to explain. It's just so many emotions rushing at one time, and it's, it's amazing. I've been waiting two years for this moment, and it's, it's finally here. I love it. It feels absolutely amazing. We've been working so hard, like, all through the summer, throughout the past years to get to this point. Really it takes a lot. It takes a lot. A lot of focus, a lot of discipline just to get your job done. We got great coaches who know what to call. We got great players who listen to the coaches and to do their job. And that's what it took to win tonight. So, I mean, to beat a team 
like that on a stage like this is just unbelievable, and we're just so proud. I mean, it's great. I'm, I'm just so happy for our players. Uh, this has been a long year, a long grind, and uh, they really deserve it. Well, a big night for the Bulldogs here at Williams Stadium, able to come up with the win and their first ever VHSL state title. In Lynchburg, Ryan Moy, WFXR Sports. Thank you so much, Ryan. We're over at Salem Stadium. There was a doubleheader there. First up, it's a Class 2 final. The Rafford Bobcats going for their third state title. Going up against the Riverheads Gladiators, they're going for their 11th crown. So let's go out there. Rafford running out onto the field, and they're ready for things to happen. First quarter action, it was already tied at 7, and Landon Clark's going to hook up with Max Knight, the record-setting Rafford Bobcat receiver, goes 52 yards down to the Gladiators' 10. To the second quarter we go, and Clark's going to hook up with Luke Woodard, who does the rest. Take it to the inside and the outside, all that good stuff. 13 to 7 Rafford after the Miss PAT. But Riverheads, you know they're good. Caden Cook Cash, triple C with the four yard score. Gladiators go on top 14 to 13. But then Rafford had Clark. Look at him in the red zone. He's going to take it himself to the outside, and he's going to stick the ball at the pylon. Got it. 19 to 14 Bobcats after the missed two point conversion. After a Riverheads fumble, Clark goes to the air, long to Knight, and he got it into the zone for the touchdown. 25 14 Bobcats at the break, and Rafford was fired up looking for that state title. So we go to the third quarter. It's now 25 21 Rafford. Now third and goal at the seven, and Clark all day long to move around, sell popcorn, autographs, and programs. He got it right there to JD Grubb. 32 21 Rafford, and then Rich. Riverheads on their own goal line. Cook Cash, he's going to get some haterade interception. Dawson Martin with the shortest pick six you'll ever see. Radford is your Bobcats there. The state champs for the first time in 51 years. They win it 39 to 21. But I'm so proud of the kids. The community was behind us, right? The city of Radford wanted these guys to win. The 71 72 team wanted these guys to win. Coach Lindenberg wanted these guys to win. And I've always said, you know, coach built this program and it's been my been my duty to try to continue uh, and carry on the traditions that, that he put in place. I think the word I'd use to describe is just beautiful uh, to see see uh, just the whole community, a communal effort uh, towards this thing from players, coaches, uh, fans, uh, staff members. It's everybody wanted this and to see it to go, come together in fruition is uh, just truly beautiful. It started in the summer in the weight room. You know, it even starts in December. You know, we're a small school, so we don't have a lot of kids, you know, that just play one sport. And I mean, Riverheads too. But you know, it starts in December, and uh, I think the weight room really paid off tonight in our tempo, and I'm just proud of our guys up front. And obviously, it's a full team effort, but without those guys, it's hard to get stuff going. So congratulations, Rafford Bobcats going 15-0 and winning a state title. The nightcap at Salem Stadium had Galax Maroon Tide going for their second state title. He took on an Essex Georgia squad, also looking for their second title. So the first quarter, fourth and goal for Essex at the four. Zay Bundy takes it in with strength. Four yards out, 6 nothing Essex after the missed two-point conversion. We're going to fast forward to the third. Essex Penninger on three bad snap. Bundy recovers the ball in the end zone, but Galax would touch him for the safety 6-2 Essex. Same score in the fourth. Trojans again pin back their own six. Bundy's going to get zacked by Tidron Tucker for another Galax safety. It's now 6-4. 12 seconds left in the game. Galax freshman kicker Yandel Rojas from 42 yards hit the crossbar and trickles in. And that is the winner. Maroon Tide gets their first state title since 2015, seven to six over Essex. I've never been part of a game like that. No offensive touchdowns from our side. We win seven to six. I, you know, it's just it's a testament to our kids. It's been that way all season. They've had to fight through adversity all all year long. One and three start. Uh, coming back last week down 14 to nothing. Coming back tonight down six to nothing early. Uh, you know, it just it's, it just goes back to our kids. The work they put in. And they just believe in themselves and they believe in the process. They believe in their coaching staff. You can't ask for any better kids than that. I just felt nervous, you know. It was a long, pretty field goal. And I didn't think I would make it, but I think doinked off the uh, bottom crossbar and it just doinked in. I got happy, you know what I mean? I'm just happy right now. I don't know how to feel. I just feel great. All the guys on the team, we came out and practiced really hard this week. We knew we was going to have to give it a little extra than what we usually do. And we made some big plays. It wasn't just me. It wasn't an individual effort. Group, great team effort. We all came out, did what we had to do, and we got to win. So congratulations to all of today's winners. We should officially put the 2023 Hardy's Friday Night Blitz season to an end. So good stuff right then and there. 
That's sports. Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports.